All right. So you want me to start or you want to start? Yeah, you start. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so my uh, wait, what what scan? What track did you say to pull scans in? I didn't. Read. Hold on. Just go drop in debates and scans too, since I have to go over Godzilla versus Cyber later, or tomorrow depends. All right, makes sense. All right, cool. Let's just make a third channel. Just, just make some like, just make some like exclusive channel for like debating concurrently or whatever, or like ma make some channel open to only them, and, like the mods. All right. So debate and debates and scans too. Or are you gonna go through and make that third chat? Wait, what the hell? Anyway, so like while he's doing that, just get in your first argument, cool geek, and then Godzilla can like reply to it. All right. So basically, my main argument is gonna be that um, Super Boo, um was able to yell open a hole in space time, right? So he would be damaging a 4D construct. And then that would be consistent because Go Tanks did it as well, and they'd be relative. And I can provide scans for that if you want. Godzilla, can you give yourself the debating RN role? It's at the very bottom. Uh, basically, so you won't see commentary. It's like the most bottom role, I think. Cyber, he's the owner. He bypasses those rules. Dang, nab it, fine. No commentary. We don't need it. I'll, I'll get rid of Geeks debating our end roll then. You, you just, like, start some personal conversation with me, I guess, in DMs. The argument basically surmises that we're going to hole in space, therefore he is fourth-dimensional in power. Why can you restate that you thought at the beginning? Basically, you're saying because he opened a hole in space that he's being in attack potency. Essentially, because he did it with his power, right? They did it by yelling, yeah. I would say that's not exactly true. Hold on, just let me get what I would actually say this is. So, in my things, this is a combination of both space and time manipulation to a minor extent. Obviously not to like a universal extent, because they just opened a tiny portal, rather than like breaking through the dimension, which, as we know, actual fourth dimensional characters like Dragon Ball Super Vegeta can do this. Wait, so you're saying because they didn't, like, break all of the space-time, that it would no longer be 4D? I would say that since it's not on the scale of the entire realm, that no, it shouldn't scale to an attack potency feat. It'd rather be listed as space-time manipulation. Um, <clears throat> alright. So, alright, so, so since it doesn't scale to, like, the, the size of the dimension, well, I'd argue that the size of the dimension doesn't really matter, right? If you, I think that if you break um, a fourth dimensional, like, construct the size of a cup, it's 4D, and if you break a fourth dimensional construct the size of a universe, it would also be 4D. I don't think the size of the construct matters. Breaking a 4D construct yes, is worse than a 4D construct. Yes, it does. Because if you want a universal plus attack potency for Super Boo, then he needs to be fourth dimensional on a universal scale. If you don't have that, he's not universal plus. Period. Well, well, hold on. I said as my pre my premise is that he's four D, not necessarily the verbatim definition of versus wiki. I did make sure to clarify at the beginning. Enough the fact that in the video you had said that Majin Boo is universal plus. Um, yeah, but I did clarify and say just like lower end than stated in versus wiki. I did clarify.
opening a hole in space time is not inherently a fourth dimensional power feat. It's with way more taboo's hacks. Since the vice shout is technically. Okay, why would it be hacks? Why would it take that if it was just power based, would it be used by other people before or after? But it hasn't. It's specifically something my boo and Gotenks did. Gotenks being someone of a character and having the magic of the Plata of the Metamorn Den, right? So I would say I like this actually it. ties to their magical fusion and mind's actual magic rather than just their brute strength. Wait, hold on. Can you prove that the Metamorn infusion is magic? Yeah, I'll get uh, describing it. Second. I'm be having trouble finding an actual manga pen at the moment. So this will essentially be a placeholder until that Sure. While you're looking for the manga panel, I'll um, take a look at that. So I don't, I can't find the version, but I can find the anime version. Is that sufficient? Yeah. So Goku explains that you know their key has to be at the same level in order to fuse first, virtually the same level. I don't believe it has to be truly exact. As the who was stronger in, the, in say, the film when they fused, and in a brawl, he would have been stronger as a, he was less beat up than Goku was. <laughs> but um, in order for the dance to be fulfilled, Goku does describe that the Metamorans uh, had a bit of magic rather than a key technique. Though it, the line is a bit blurry. I will admit that because it does uh, sap a lot of energy, especially if you're using a high form like Super Saiyan 3, which Gotenks does use because he's kind of a nip. Alright, I'm so going to go watch the clip. Energy.
There's also the fusion room version, which is further than instead. Alright, I'm gonna watch the Fusion Reborn version afterward. Okay, uh, I just watched the second clip, and nowhere in any of the scans does it say that the fusion dance is magic. Either. Do you say something? Oh yeah, sorry. I was saying it doesn't say in either of those clips or in the Dragon Ball wiki that it's magic. It didn't say that in any of the um, in any of the scans at all. I might be thinking Patara because Patara is magical in nature. Say it's inconsistent because Gotenks directly scales to Goku. He scales above him by Goku's own admission. But not to a degree. And uh, Goku scales directly to Kid Buu, who performed a feat that's more multi system. Maybe he could get it to Galaxy, but that's actually very unlikely. Um. Here's the thing about the Super Buffy. You, you're um you're referring to like when he was blowing up the galaxy, right? Yes. Okay. Was that when he was being controlled um by uh, Bibbity? Oh, Bibbity wasn't really controlling Kid Boo because Boo is like wild animal. You can't really control him. Um, but you can sort of. Aim him. That's more what I meant. Not like you know. I'm not saying it's something like um, like Kodomatsu Kami full mind control or anything, right? I'm just saying like he had some level of control over him. Would you agree with that? You're basically saying. I think you're trying to say is that you're saying Bibidik somehow held Boo back. Yeah, essentially. I have some support on that. Just open that. So essentially, both Bibbidi and Bobbidi try to get Mabu to destroy the entire universe. So there's no logical reason for them to actually Wait, can you repeat that? Uh, and to actually be holding back. Then to be holding back because, uh, for example, uh, Shin states that 
that Bobby was using Boo to destroy the universe. Uh, the entire reason he got involved is because the universe was actually under threat because Bibbidi and Bobbidi uh, use Boo basically as like an attack dog on the universe. So there's a reason that they actually be holding him back rather than just telling him to destroy everything in his back. All right, give me a second. Hold on. You're going to uh, say the infinite universe thing. The thing with that is, Boo's actually existed since immemorial age. So he's actually existed at least arguably longer than the infinite universe itself. So I argue that Boo has more than infinite time to destroy the infinite universe. So. If you do the math, infinite divided by infinity will be some finite number. Give me a second. Or you're just using normal jewels rather than infinite power when she being consistent. Okay, so you're arguing that they would not be holding Boo back, correct? Arguing that it would be consistent to make over infinite gem between Super Saiyan 3 Goku, who is basically equal to Kid Buu, and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, who was beating ever living tar out of Super Buu and was actually going to kill him. That manga scan, the only reason he failed was because he was hockey and didn't get the job done in time. Alright, hold on, hold on. He will um, erase him completely. All right, hold on. I don't want to get shotgunned. Um, so here, let me try and go after these things one at a time. Give me a sec. I'm not trying to shotgun. I'm just recording everything I'm saying. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, <clears throat> all right. So since you already made the argument that um, uh, Boo would not be holding back, um, if Boo right is destroying everything at max power, and since I am arguing that he would be 4D, right, that he would be not just, say, destroying the the planets, right, but he would also be destroying, like, the space-time, you know, surrounding them and the, the planets take up, right? So every time he blows up a section of space-time, that would still be a 4D feat, right, since um, he's going balls deep, right? He would... um. In that case, right, the fact that he's not destroying larger areas of space-time just means that he's not that high into 4D, right? Um, because, like I said, destroying the space-time the size of a cup would still be 4D, the same as destroying the space-time of a universe, right? But logically, there are, you know, levels to that, right? There's the space-time of a cup, and then you can maybe have, like, the space-time of two cups all the way up until, you know, infinite 4D. So I'm just going to argue that if the for the galaxy thing, first of all, right, that's just, like, him destroying the space Space time of like all the objects in the galaxy. Hold on, sorry, there's dogs. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep my personal opinions out of this debate. Of course, I'm I'm mainly just here as an outside perspective person. I'm not going to be a judge in this debate, so... Um, can you answer my question in DMs really quick? Yeah, I will. I proof that Boo is going to destroy the space-time of the universe. And not just... It's finite matter. Wait a second. I have proof that Boo can destroy the time-space of the universe, not just its matter. Well, that's what, like, 4D is, right? So, since 4, 4D, right, is length, width, depth, and time. And since my premise is that he can do that, so that would just mean that when he destroys stuff, right, since you said, right, your claim was that um, Boo would be going all out and he was, um, like, taking time to destroy, like, galaxies, right? Well, I'm just saying that if, since he is going all out, and my premise is that he's 4D, that when he's destroying the, the universe, right, since that's what he's doing, um, he would be going balls deep and erasing the space-time um, along with the matter. Uh, say that, that doesn't 
exact word because we actually have specific statements from later on in a series about when someone that is actually going to annihilate the universe, destroying its space time, to specify that it would be turned from an empty void of nothingness. Whereas Boo all this about him that he could destroy it. Sure, Not but it didn't specify how. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not done. So you would have to prove in the positive that Boo can destroy space time. Right, yeah, I did. When the first thing I showed was Super Boo and Gotenks destroying space time. No, because that whole closed. Sure, but it was still destroyed, right? Just because you, um, like, you can destroy a space time and then it can repair itself. Huh? If that space time was destroyed, then it wouldn't be closed. Um, sure it could, right? If you destroy um a hole in space time, it can repair itself. Sure, that's um as a matter of fact, um there are several real life theories of that's how the universe in real life works. That's how an infinitely big universe can still be expanding by um just like um it's sort of weird the way it works, but essentially, have you ever read the book um A Wrinkle in Time? A fictional story, so it's not what have here. So in, in that book, there's a thing called tethering, right? And the way it's described as, is, um, say, making a wrinkle in space-time, and then you just, like, appear at the other side of the wrinkle, right? Um, the way the universe is theorized to expand, it's sort of the reverse of that, right? So it's, um, it's essentially reverse wrinkling the universe. So that would be, be what causes the expansion, and um, you can use that to, say, repair holes in space-time, since the, the space-time is in itself expanding out of seemingly nothing. So it would be able to repair itself. You prove that the outdated fictional universe uses the same logic. Um, I would just argue that the um, I would just argue right that it's the only thing that logically makes sense because it was specifically stated. If you want, I can get the entire video link, but it was directly stated that they ripped quote, ripped a hole out of the dimension, so them ripping the hole out of the dimension would inherently be them damaging the space-time. Black hole is able to bend space-time in a similar manner that doesn't mean that it's four-dimensional beyond infinite 3D and power. Black holes have finite mass. Um, well, I'd argue warp and straight up terror is entirely different. Mm. Could, but at the same time, it's not necessarily true. At least in the case of black hole, you could just argue that simply bending space time in general, a black hole consumes whatever enters it, and that's why it's nearly impossible to uh, gather data on them because you no know, reflection them by light because it absorbs said light just need to measure uh, black holes true size directly you can only measure things around black hole and presume its actual size everything's absorbed oh. and that includes uh, space time itself around Wait, in that case, since you just said, right, that um, that black holes, you can't really observe them, then is there any way to truly prove that they warp space-time in the first place? There actually is, because when light is fired at black holes, it bends and it curves, showing that no light in itself always travels in a space in a straight line, that something occurred that made that light bend. And if there's no matter in the way, that means light doesn't... Uh, Did you fall in, babe? Go ahead and continue. I'll take over if Cyber has to go for a second. I might have to leave soon, period, for dinner.
I'll go. I, I'll I'll take over for now. Well, uh, well, I'll tell you when I have to go. At that point, you can take okay. over. Just just a. Uh, right. Are you guys both fine with promise judging if I have to leave? Um, I am. I don't think Godzilla would have any gripes with that. Well, I don't know if he would. Let me not. Let me not presuppose. Yeah, we actually prove Boo can do it. Because just using this circular logic, he can destroy space time because he opened a portal. And yeah, that's very circular, actually. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me let me get let me get the actual clip. Give me a sec. Holy fuck, it's quiet. Geek, uh, I'm gonna have to ask you soon to stop shifting the burn curve. I asked him this more than once, and this is only now being just Godzilla. Are you fine with Primus judging if I have to go? Of course. Hold on, this is the wrong clip. Hey, Primus, I got a question for you. I'm having a brain fart at the moment. Can you find out if there's any way, like, any arguments you have in mind for the scan I'm sending you to be, like, wanked to immeasurable rather than just inaccessible? Like, it states the being existed before time itself. So, like, do you have any ideas for how, how that can be, like, brought up to immeasurable? Because, because he existed before time, it would you could make the argument that by correlation it means he's not bound by time since he existed before it. That could work. There's no really way to get this to irrelevant, but yeah, it's more likely just inaccessible. I I mean you could, but that's the first thing that pops into my head. It's kind of, it's like the universal monster thing with Adventure Time.
Okay, I couldn't find the scene of um, Piccolo verbatim saying that um, he ripped a hole in space time, but um, I do want to provide these clips just so we're extra sure that, um, you know, we're looking at the same thing. But I'm just going to make the argument, right, that since they do make holes in space-time, and since this is Dragon Ball, right, it would take the least amount of assumptions to say that they ripped it with their power because of a few things. One, um, Gotenks had to go Super Saiyan 3 before he could make the holes in space-time, so that's directly implying it's a power feat, right? Also, the fact that... um. Most hacks in Dragon Ball are directly proportionate to your AP anyway. So even if you say it's space-time hacks, it's still AP in the sense that if you are stronger than your opponent, your hacks won't work. And that should also apply to, say, inanimate objects, right? If you have, um, like, your key blasts, for instance, right? Since you can argue that's sort of a spiritual hack because of, like, what, um, because of what key is, right? If you want to say, like, kill a ghost with your or heck the hakai is a perfect example the hakai can kill ghosts right but if your opponent is stronger than you then you cannot destroy them with it right you cannot destroy their soul with it i'd say in the case of majin Buu, this is definitely not the case his hacks do work why people that are stronger such as buhan turning vegeto into candy despite base vegeto clowning on Boo. It worked on Super Vegeta. It didn't kill him, but he still got turned into candy. Can you provide some for that? You'll have to forgive the background noise. There is a lot of. Yeah, that's fine. If you don't like the original for some reason, I'll. Vegito did not die, but he was still turned into a piece of candy. Alright, give me a sec. Here's the actual scene itself. Now, do you need me to prove that Super Vegito beats the ever living? Tarabon. No. Okay, yeah, I'm going to dip. I haven't heard anything in the last 15 minutes. My Well, 10 minutes. Uh, you guys okay with Primus taking over? My apologies. Yeah, of course. Right, see you guys later. I, I can right, just off the recording. Okay. Okay, um, I just watched Vegito being a jawbreaker, but let me see the beam part.
Okay, I'm gonna argue the only reason it half worked on Goku is because, I mean, sorry, Vegito is because he was off guard for one. Um, he didn't know what um, C- Boo was doing, right? He's never seen a, to my knowledge, he's never seen a candy beam before, unless you can like prove that. Um, and also, it didn't even fully work on. Like, sure, he was turned into a jawbreaker, but it didn't fully work, right? He was still able to, like, move and beat the crap out of Super Boo afterward, or Boo Tanks. I mean, Boo Han, sorry. See, Vegito says himself that everything he let Boo do was basically him doing it on purpose to get himself absorbed. I can get you that skin if you want. I'm just grabbing some stuff for another thing coming up. Um, yeah, can you provide the scan for um, Vegito saying he let himself get absorbed? Not shift the burden. Yeah. don't do that. Um, don't worry, I won't shift the burden of proof. So what point are you guys on right now? It's too quiet. Okay, so um, he's uh, so I was arguing that Vegito was off guard. The only reason he got overtaken by the candy beam, right? And also, he's never seen candy beam before. Godzilla tried refuting it by saying that. Vegito said that he everything he did um, before he got absorbed was specifically so he's going to get absorbed and I asked him to provide scans for that. <laughs> so he's looking okay, for those scans okay. now. This can pretty much prove that yeah, he everything happened to him. But, but it's all happening to him. Okay, then, um, in that case, uh, I'm just going to argue that... Let me explain. So Vegito, he could have killed Boo anytime he wanted to, right? We all know that. But the reason he got absorbed was to save everyone, and that was his plan from the start. But, but sure. he defused um, okay. before he could get that done. So okay, to then. Vegeta to do that. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to argue that um, <clears throat> the only reason that the candy beam worked on them is because they let it work on them um, because they said they wanted to get absorbed, right? So by that, they, they let it happen. So it they they can purposely let down their defensive. So 
like the scans shows that they can get absorbed. Right, but um, at the same time, those hacks still worked out someone much more powerful than him. A genome identical power right, wouldn't have, probably wouldn't have been effective if he would have like blocked something, maybe even just formed his barrier and just not but that really would require active defense. Vegito, just as is, did not just sit there and just like, let off. He was turning again. Um, okay, hold on. Because uh, there's sort of an issue with that, right? If he wanted to get absorbed, he can just like suppress his defenses, right? The same whereas um, Vegeta in the Saiyan saga um, suppressed himself so that Krillin could like blast him through the chest so he can get healed by Dende, right? If w my claim, right, is that their hacks should scale to their AP, right? And um, that, and then that would sort of be, still be the case, right? If they can lower their actual durability, then they should also be able to lower their hacks durability so long as their hacks durability scales to their actual durability. Mm, no, that, you would have to prove that and the positive, I don't have to prove the negative towards that. Because the thing with that is that I already proved that those hacks work on people who are stronger than them. It doesn't work as effectively as when someone is weaker. True, as a, some of the techniques still based on gear, right? But, okay. But sure. To see that they just don't work and that somehow you know, would have to lower his hacks durability despite you previously saying he's never seen the DDB before and thus wouldn't know how to defend against Aside from just, you know, forming a barrier or something, just protecting himself physically is well, even somewhat contradictory. Well, not really, right? Because even if you, um, even if you say that, like I said, right, he's, even if he's never seen the candy beam before, just the fact that he wanted to get absorbed, he would lower his defenses to any mechanism they're using to absorb him, no matter, like, whatever he thinks it is, right? Because um, you said that in most cases that would apply except for them, but I'm arguing that this case is sort of not as special as you think it is, right? Because of how, in the scan you yourself provided, right, it said that he let himself get absorbed, so like he would have lowered his defenses like I said before so he can get absorbed by whatever's coming but that would apply specifically to his amount of key not to his magical resistance okay you guys are gonna go on ad infinitum on this point so just like simply move on to like some new point or move on to conclusion, since that's the only thing I can really see that won't be agnostic. Well, I think I don't think I've added one last thing that I think I can add to sort of make my point a little bit stronger. Can I do that? Sure, but like don't go on ad nauseum for another ten minutes. Sure, yeah. So the only thing left that I want to add to this point is just the fact that Vegito wasn't even fully, like, turned into candy. He was still able to, like, move around and, like, not be stagnant. Like, we show, we see how, like, Boo's candy beam, usually when he, like, transforms people into candy, they're, like, dead, right? Um, that didn't happen to Vegito. He was still able to beat up Boo. Also, the yelling is not the candy beam. Like, that was a specific beam to turn Vegito into candy, right? And, like, the yelling is not a candy beam. I think it's a sort of a false comparison. But we can move on from this now. However, my point still stands. It was not debunked. It was just tried to... He tried to basically get around this with other means of saying that Vegito kind of did happen, which is true, but at the same time, he could have just you know, like teleported out of the way or something. But it still worked, so that does my argument. So basically, we have Majin Buu able to affect things stronger than him with hack. So that wouldn't necessarily mean that his magic. We are on level with the Tomsey. And we've already established that 
Boo opening a tiny hole in a different dimension does not mean you can nuke said dimension. And that would fall under space-time manipulation via the versus uh, system rather than being a destroy of dimensional universe. Which at this point Wait, we on. have not provided for he might be universal plus. And that is the lowest level of party attack potency. Um well, you said under the, the, the versus system, um, are you appealing to versus wiki? Because I can just argue that like, if you're using them like specifically, right, um, I can just argue that that's appealing to authority. We don't have to go through their exact term. Term. When did No, I I'm asking. Is that what you mean? No, 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 no. I said the system oh, no. used the versus aids rather than the different hypotheticals for the cosmology of the universe. As most of those don't really apply to fiction. Um, side. Wait, can you repeat that from the beginning? I didn't hear you all the way. You were like cutting out. I fucking did. I said I'm using the system generally accepted in versus debates rather than the different hypotheses of higher cosmology in the universe, as those generally do not apply to fiction unless specified as such. Um. <clears throat> So what was what? Wait, what? What? Why? Why'd you bring that point up? Because like, wait, why'd you bring that up? Because you're trying to say I'm appealing to authority, and I'm telling you that not. I'm basically saying. Basically, basically, basically. Oh, so you're bandwagoning then? You're saying like according to like what's widely accept accepted. If you want to go into the semantics, if you're just saying that who open, opening a portal in space instantly means for traditional as that would require any time as well, that would be appealing to the same system. Well, I'm arguing he did it through like. like short, uh, short. Wait a second. Because if it applies to me, it applies to you. So that we get nowhere. We both commit a and that's about that. Um, hold on, you were slightly cutting out. Let me see if I could, like, let me see if I grasp what you were trying to say. You were saying that, um, that, like, if I'm saying that, like, them, like, ripping space-time, you're saying that would, like, apply to, like, black holes or something? Something because he cut off for me. Okay, cool geek. Restate what re restate what you were asking just now. Okay, so I was because like you cut out for me a little bit, Godzilla. So I was trying to clarify your point was that um that if he like rips space time, that's somehow like um like that being a four D feat is somehow like appealing to real life. Is that what you're saying? Did you hear that him, Godzilla? A little yeah, right now. Um, basically, you would be appealing to the trait to accuse me of in that fourth dimension destruction would warrant a tier of power. Whereas, I have provided a reason as to why that is simply a hack based on Mondo's magical nature. And to basically say that I committed a fallacy by going via standard battle assumptions you can also by trying to use that same tiering system. And before you need to interject and say something about Hilbert space or string theory, those things don't necessarily correlate with accepted in this manner and for these purposes. And I wouldn't say contradict each other, but they don't agree on everything. Um Sure. I'm saying, okay, so I'm not saying like they agree on everything. I'm just saying that in this case, because like the thing you brought up, right, was um, like the hole in space time, like repairing itself for that to be some sort of like weird anti feat. The only thing I'm saying, right, is that um, 
under certain scientific theories, it is logically, uh, it is logical for that hole to sort of seal up, if that makes sense, right, due to other scientific theories. And I'm just, I'm making the argument, right, that it would be self-evident that the theory would be applied if that's what we visually see. And it is, if you want, I can provide like scans for this specific theory. I would want that because if you just say certain theories, then you're going to make me guess what theory you're talking about. Um, it's called internal inflation. Give me a sec. Make sure not to derail down this road. You're, you'd be going to a completely separate debate if you do, so just be mindful of that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to say it's called internal inflation and that it essentially just, like, the universe just, like, grows its own space-time and that the Dragon Ball universe, it is stated to be infinite and still expanding and this specific theory is just an explanation for, like, how that could, like, exist. So it would inher- the Dragon Ball would inherently be using this system. Did that works. I don't think that works. That's a pretty heavy amount of assumptions. Especially since different realms and dimensions of the animal world have very different rules to stuff we know. For example, it is possible to move matter faster than the speed of light. And when um, I say magic, I mean, there are ships that move faster than light. Right. Yeah. Sure. Um, that the thing about that though, um, is the speed of light in Dragon Ball is it's just faster than speed of light in real life. And the only thing that really needs to change for that is uh, I believe it's called the Planck constant, which isn't related to the sort of uh, cosmology at all. Actually, I'm going to pause you right there because you stated that in the affirmative, whereas the only time people view this is to try and like rectify this but only be the speed of light which is not true Raditz was stated to be faster than the speed of light as well back in the Saiyan saga and that is supported by the make sure not to world. derail down speed because you're not what? really debating about speed you're debating about whether or not like uh, super boost hack is is a correlative no 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 I'm just trying to prove the same thing. I'm just trying to stay on the point, but okay, we'll just make sure that the to not... universe works under those axioms. I'm just saying that. Oh, okay, but make sure to not like derail when going down that point because you're going down a speed argument. Well, that's the case, and we'll just call this a red herring and move on. Wait, why'd you bring well, up? Why'd well, you bring no, that up? I, I said you can go. You can go ahead and go down this road since you're using it as an example. Just don't derail down that road talking about how fast Buhan actually is or whatever. That's all I've said. Yeah, all right, so that's the, uh, I just dropped the scan about, like, what internal inflation is. Now I'm going to give a little bit of evidence on, like, why, the why like, it's self-evident that Dragon Ball uses it as well. I'm just doing this. I would say that this doesn't work because there are different space times in the Dragon world that just kind of are already there. Whereas this implies that one space time will grow into an infinite number. So I would say that no, this does not apply. You want me to prove Wait, that on. there are different space times I can do that? 
Well, no, I agree that there are different space times, but that's just how it would work in our universe, right? The scan I provided. That's just like how it would work in our universe, right? There's no reason to say that it simply becomes null just because there are like more than one space time. I don't see how you can infer that at all. Because it specifies that one time in flame into infinite amount, and that the universe would like within separate into an in, in multiverse, which, as we know, doesn't really work with the dragon universes. There's a set of them with different base systems, and they don't just become more. Well, hold on. Um, that's sort of a semantics issue, right? Because in the versus community, we define multiverse differently than in that scan, right? Because like you were just reading, right? It says that the space that expands causes different bubbles to crop up of like they call, that they call universes, right? But the thing is, those quote universes are they all share the same space time. It's just certain areas of space time are clumped together with like matter, right? So essentially, right, there would be like large empty spaces of well space, right? That would have nothing in them. They would still technically be the same universe. It's just they're just separated by a long distance of like emptiness. That would it's still space time, but it's just empty. And at the same time, it still doesn't quarry correlate with Dragon Ball's known cosmology. So I would say that this is very much applicable. So I think we should get back to the main point because we've done enough. Um, sure. All right, but yeah, I just, um, I, I'm, those should be the scans because I was already posting them when you said that, but um, it, uh, I was going to post more, but um, you said let's try to get back on, but um, essentially, right, that it does say that the, um, well, as a matter of fact, um, not to sort of jump back on that, but I do want to add one more point to that, is that it are stated that there are four quadrants of the, um, of the universe, right? So I can just make the argument that those four quadrants, what would be that what in, uh, internal inflation sort of describes as quote-unquote universes? I have no idea how you get that idea, but I already get back to the main point. All right. By the way, those quadrants are state to be because of galaxies, not different universes. So, uh, back to this, because so, this is the main topic of the debate. I would say I approved well enough that Majin Buu is not more fun. Is that your conclusion? Essentially, there is too much inconsistency. I'll, I'll go into further details. There's too much inconsistency in terms of the scaling. There is no way Boo got infinitely stronger than King Boo. And uh, if we can actually very easily quantify the amount to be around 8 to 10 times between Kid Boo and Super Boo. So there's no way if Boo, the Kid Boo is finite, which we've already proven, Test this, that Super Boo would be infinite or beyond that, as it would have to be to be fourth dimensional. We already proved that Boo's hacks are bound to the normal rules of big, strong, equal stronger for hacks in Dragon Ball, which is the general case. Boo can live forever, he can destroy the infinite universe. He can Okay, you done? That's pretty much it. Sorry, you got really quiet all over the place. I said I'm done. Oh, okay. All right, so I think I won because I was able to prove that um, Super Boo um, and people who he scales to are capable of destroying s uh, space times, and I argued why it would be um, like consistent on a narrative level. Uh, Etc. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much my conclusion. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Not to interrupt the conclusion, 
but when did we approach that? Um, you said that it wouldn't be consistent. Uh, after I said he like um rips holes in space time, right? You argued that it wouldn't be consistent. And you brought up Kid Boo, but I refuted that by arguing that um just because like he's destroying um like sections of the infinitely expansive you know universe, right? Um, I can uh, that my argument was essentially that he was he could potentially, if my premise is true, right? Um, that he's destroying um space-time, right? That he's just, like, destroying the space-time of the universe. Section by section. How that narratively uh, what is going on, but I guess I'll just wait well, for Before you go down some other line of reasoning, I'll go over it whenever I judge. Yeah, so essentially, right, that would be narratively consistent with the fact that the... Um, that they do sort of use these different scientific models that do have expansive, you know, space times, etc. So that um, they do have like quadrants and you know stuff like that. So it would be consistent. Also, the hacks I did mention that hacks do scale to AP. The only reason Vegito got like hit with the candy beam is because he was directly stated in the scans that Godzilla provided um, that he did get. Um, get uh, under its effect on purpose by holding back, and I use the analogy of um, of um, like Vegeta holding back to get hit by, say, a key blast, and that point was not refuted, and uh, that's pretty much my conclusion. Okay, so so you both concluded, right? Yeah. Pretty sure. Okay, so. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to start ripping into the both of you immediately. So, okay, so I'll start for Godzilla. So, all right, Godzilla, your, your argumentation and your rhetoric here was kind of awkward and kind of clunky. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's a bit of a low end for you, but your arguments were very, very awkward, and I noticed that they were difficult to make at certain times, so just be aware of how you're arguing your points, because you did not sound very in control while you were arguing, so keep that in mind. Uh, and second, I do believe that you have refuted uh, Cool Geek's uh, fourth dimensional time-space hack argument uh, good enough, but I do think it was a bit difficult for you to argue it, especially when both Especially when the both of you were just derailing to different lines of reasoning uh, for, like, half the entire debate. <clears throat> and uh, and just overall, all, all I really have to say about you is just simply be more pragmatic about how you argue, because this was a very, very weird debate and kind of hard to follow, especially when there were moments of quietness as well. So that's all I really have to say about that. Now... As for you, Cool Geek, right, I do believe that you've refuted a lot of Godzilla's arguments in, per, in, a, in, a, in accordance to other points, but I do not believe you made a proper refutation to, uh, to Godzilla arguing that a time-space hack does not inherently mean it's fourth dimensional. Like, say, it could just be, say, some warp in time-space, not necessarily dictating the fact that it would necessarily be warping the dimension with raw power. Uh, and I don't believe you properly refuted that well enough. I And I think that most of the time, whenever you were refuting it, you were going down some derailed line of reasoning as well. Since I believe your rhetoric was also a little awkward in the debate. So same thing I said to Godzilla, but also to you. But just be aware of how you are doing next time. That's all I really had to say. Now, for judgments, though, uh, I do believe Godzilla won. He refuted Cool Geek's main point about Super Boo in general. And then I also believe that he proven that, uh, that, that Buhan's evil energy would scale above his normal key. I do not believe you properly refuted that either, Cool Geek. But I will say, though, that when you were derailing to other lines of reasoning, I don't believe Godzilla really had much of a contention with those other lines of reasoning, but that would come down to the fact that he wasn't re that he wasn't really concerned about it. So uh, I do give this debate to Godzilla, but I do think 
both of you were very awkward in this debate. That's all I really have to say. So, uh, mm. interesting. Cyber, all can right. go, Cyber can go over the audio later, and I can go talk to Cyber. So, all right. All right. Let me go stop the bot. Stop.